I am going insane planning my wedding. I just want my wedding to be like yours, just like beautiful and fun and effortless. Are you kidding? My wedding day was the most stressed out I've ever been. Oh my god, really? Yes. I mean, everyone tells you that it's the best day of your life, but that just puts all this pressure on you to make it perfect. Honestly, I wasn't even happy until it was finally over. Hi, excuse me, could I speak to you privately for just a second? <laughs> That's okay, actually, I have to um, take this anyway. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> you can't say that about your wedding. Uh, I'm sorry, do I know you? Okay, no, you don't, hon, but I'm trying to help. Okay, from one former bride to another, keep your mouth shut. Whoa, all I said was that my wedding isn't the fairy tale that everyone says it's gonna be. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, hon! <laughs> You're not getting it. What? What the hell? Who are you people? Vivian Walters, married twice. <laughs> All right, look, if we all were to mention or admit that our weddings were anything short of the perfect day that we dreamed of when we were kids. Okay, well, I never dreamed about my wedding when I was a kid. Stop. Yeah, most of us didn't. <laughs> but we act as if we had, and we spend loads of money to recreate that perfect day. And if you admit that your wedding was anything short of that perfect dream you never had, well, then you look like an idiot, and you ruin everything for everyone else. Yeah, because of none. Married people find out that you did the whole thing and it wasn't worth it, then they might not have big weddings themselves. And if they don't need to have big weddings, why do we need to have big weddings? <laughs> <laughs> and then the economy crashes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep your voice down. They are listening. Who's listening? The wedding industry. And by proxy, the entire U.S. economy. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, okay. Okay. No. okay, what do you think would happen to forests if there was no wedding industry, huh? They would starve and flowers would go extinct. <laughs> All of the tuxedos would end up in landfills. It would be a climate disaster. Okay, and don't even get me started on what would happen if we lose macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is being held together in a very delicate balance. You are just a cog in that machine, and if you do not keep that machine running, they will remove you. Okay, no, weddings are just not that big of a deal, okay? You both need to go away and sh <laughs> Good day, I will have one coffee, please. Here's your coffee, sir. Thank you. Good day, sir. I will be on my way now. <laughs> oh! oh my god. Who was that? That was David Bridal. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna kill you. I told you they were listening. Okay, okay, now I'm just getting scared. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> about twinkle lights, huh? You think Christmas and college freshmen would be enough to keep that industry alive? It's not! <laughs> okay, who are you? I'm Catherine Bouvier. I used to be a skeptic like you. Then what happened? I said something I shouldn't have. I started shit-talking mason jars at weddings. <laughs> <laughs> mason jars heard, word spread. Sales started tanking. Next thing I knew, the people at Mason Jars killed my husband. <laughs> Chopped him up and stuffed him in a Mason Jar. <laughs> Bailed him directly to my house and my... I, I digress. Hey, Don't make the same mistake I did, kid. Is everything... Why is everything okay? Uh, I mean... I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think you do. So that was weird. Um, okay, but what were you saying about your wedding? Uh, I, uh, it, <laughs> it was great. <laughs>